join us at Reparations Technical Institute and learn hatred for the white devil in a relaxed campus atmosphere where classes range from hatred for the white devil to advanced hatred for the white devil and volleyball. Next. I'm Phil Rizzo. I'm from New Jersey, and I love New Jersey. That's why I've decided to step up and fight for you and run for governor against Phil Murphy. Okay. Whoever is the marketing team behind all of these MAGA people, y'all really need to switch your, st- your style up. Because this is the... Ex- Tell me this does not have the exact same feel as the Kimberly Click Clack ad. Please, someone like it's the it's the same folks like i don't know whether it's just a um uh if it's the marketing team or video editors or just a like some kind of uh public relations firm that co- that pu- that puts these together but like yeah, the y'all know how i felt about uh kimberly click clack and i i do not like getting these vibes Oh, so early, but we're actually rather early into this ad for Phil Rizzo for governor. So let's uh, keep going because it might surprise us. Let's keep going. Since Phil Murphy locked down our state, he signed an executive order forcing the closure of all non-essential businesses. Over 2 million unemployment claims have been filed. One third of all New Jersey businesses have closed down while big business thrives. I don't bang, bang. I that that so. Mm, mm, that's some good meat. Just going, just going at Phil Murphy like that. Bow, bow, bow. Um, unemployment has go, has gone through the roof. Uh, he really has taken the reins of um, dictator. You know what I'm saying? He's not a governor. He's a dictator. And right now we have a state legislature who are completely subservient to him and his whims. They will not say a peep against the bullshit that he's pushed forward. One of the reasons why I I myself actually uh, encourage uh, Mr. Rizzo to get into the um, to get into the race, because this is it's disgusting what our state legislature has allowed to happen to this state. It's the government's job to declare who's essential to you. We're all essential. And if you're working to put food on the table for your family, you're essential too. And you deserve to get back to work. Whoa, you got uh, Frank and Ian from uh, Attila's Gym. Uh, once again, it's, it's, it's all starting to come together when it comes to the, uh, to, to, to the MAGA swag. But is what it is because they um ian spoke at cpac at the conservative um conference uh, a few months back or maybe a month or so back but either way is yeah the, the murphy's been a complete cock bag to these two to these two gentlemen right here covered on this channel multiple times this is our business it's how we make a living and provide for our families governor murphy told us that we had to shut down because we're not essential Governor Murphy's orders are tyrannical and unconstitutional, and we refuse to follow them. Every day that we remain open, Governor Murphy finds us $15,497.76 a day, totaling approximately $2.6 million in fines. Jesus Christ. Jesus. And you know what the messed up part is? Is that the uh, the legislator, the, the state legislators really allowed murphy to come in here from massachusetts i you can go to my old channel link in the description and you can see the content that i did back then he, they, they allowed this man to come in and just take over the entire state and now here we are in in what can be really uh it, it, from a certain angle be called a dystopian hell future <laughs> that's unacceptable phil murphy and who gave Phil Murphy the authority to rob our kids of their childhood? How many graduations have been skipped? How many proms missed? And how many basketball games have been canceled? All of them. And who gave him the authority? The state legislatures. Your state senator, your state assembly rep. Yeah, yeah, they're a dickbag. OK, <laughs> they really are uh, here in the state of New Jersey because all of them are just so weak willed, particularly when it came to the pandemic and their willingness to just throw uh, the, 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 our Garden State siblings under the bus. Teen suicide has skyrocketed nearly 40% in New Jersey, and services to special needs kids have been severely impacted, all because of bad policy by Phil Murphy. 
And now our First Amendment rights and religious liberties are under attack, and citizens are being fined for exercising these rights. And now we're fighting in federal court because we decided to keep our church open. But Murphy's too privileged to see this, because while he was locking down our schools and businesses back home, his estimated net worth increased almost $20 million. Yeah, he's a Goldman Sachs. He comes from Goldman Sachs. He always did. This is my big beef with uh, New Jersey media in and of itself. This man came into office talking about how he was going to raise taxes. And I'm just looking around like no one's no one's saying anything against this. No, of course not. Because whether you realize it or not, New Jersey, we are the seventh layer of hell. And this state is brought and paid for. We have a um there like there's an agenda that's seeping through uh, this is the, the, this state and it has gotten just to a point where the bureauc- a bureaucratic plantation is damn near unsurmountable. I'm not even kidding. Like when I and when I talk about the bureaucratic plantation, I'm talking about you know like uh, all these public or all these public or government jobs that really uh, balloon the taxes that no one has any interest in actually doing anything about because you know when. When their time comes, they want to be able to slide their people in there at one hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year. So this, uh, this, this, there's something, something has to give. All right, fingers crossed, Phil. Fingers crossed. And in 2018, he raked in 2.2 million in income. How's that possible when the governor's salary is only one hundred and seventy-five thousand? Well, you got these things called investments, right? I mean, I have absolutely no doubt that Phil Murphy is involved with uh, several like venture capital firms that he's invested in and he gets those returns. Like, um, what's his name? Mitt Romney in uh, KB Toy Stores. He's like his buddy Cuomo. While he's signing book deals and winning Emmys, he was sending thousands of elderly, sick COVID patients to die in nursing homes. Do you think Phil Murphy represents you? Because he doesn't represent me. He's completely lost touch with everyday Americans. I don't think he ever had it. I genuinely don't think Phil Murphy ever had touch with everyday Americans. No, no, because you cannot sit here, do as he's done, and and and, and claim to have uh, and, and claim to know what everyday Americans are about. Because for the most part, and I genuinely believe this, we just want to be all of us just want to be left the fuck alone. All of us. But here in Jersey, our government's so bloated and corrupt that it's they 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 saw an opportunity to uh, to 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 really flex their authoritarian uh, muscles. And they that's exactly what they've been doing throughout this for the entire year. And it's infuriating that uh, elected officials are just uh, still to this very second. Just sit back like, well, you know, I mean, shoot, let let them do the executive order thing, because guess what? They're all going to they none of them miss a paycheck. Not a single one of them misses a paycheck. I was four years old. I lost my arm in a childhood accident. Growing up was a fight to overcome. I did. I persevered. In the face of adversity, I played varsity football and baseball in high school, and I excelled. When my arm healed, there was also a healing process that took place in my heart. It's time for that same healing process to start in New Jersey. It's time for us to forget about left versus right and send these tyrannical elitists home. I come from three generations of real estate developers that helped build this state, and I am tired of watching Phil Murphy tear it down. Your struggle is our struggle, Democrat or Republican. If I had two arms, I'd put one around each of you. We Round of applause. Let's give this man a hand. I'm a dick. Know how to persevere, and we know how to overcome. That's why I'm running for governor of New Jersey. I won't let anything stand in our way. I am a New Jerseyan. I'm an American. As your governor, I will get government out of your way so you can get your life back. Damn it! <laughs> like, is that all we want at this point? Just please, government, get go away. No one wants you here. Leave us alone. <laughs> Unless you're on that plantation, on that um, bureaucratic plantation, which is just as uh, as big and as thick as ever, man. 
like seriously. And they and, and now and with um Biden in the position that he's in, you know, they're getting the money, they're getting their money and, and doling it out to all their different organizations, all their charities, their entire little network. And, you know, who who ends up with the bill? Regular folks. Regular people. One of the reasons why I um encouraged Phil to Phil Rizzo to get into this um race was because, you know, he's a pastor. He doesn't say it in the um he doesn't say it in this at all because there is supposed to be a separation of church and state. But dude's a pastor, and that is a baseline of decency that I would I wouldn't know who'd be the next um, governor regardless, because I don't know Cinderella, don't know Murphy or anything else like that. But one thing I do know is that, you know, having that religious base is better than absolutely nothing. I'll put it to you guys like that. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, tell us how to like this, like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you, sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to get videos like this every single day, share it because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you like, aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well. Links in the description. Actually go into the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Uh, like, you know, I, I like what I'm hearing so far. Yes, I know I, I, it was a bit of a, um, a bit of a twisty turn at the beginning where I'm like, ah, I'm not really feeling the whole Kimberly click clack just walking through uh, some neighborhood and the like. But, you know, you, 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 you pulled off the landing at the end and we can appreciate that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and until the next one. Over the next 90 minutes, I'd like to show you that all your problems can be solved by my penis.